we have persevered through some tough times, but uh, we're headed in a good direction. Uh, we've got community support and people see that uh, we as an organization want to move in the right direction and we as a county want to see some things grow. We want to see industry come here. We want to see our existing businesses grow and prosper. Uh, we want to see some quality of life improvements and we want to see our community and our citizens have some fun things to do that uh, we can do with families and, and you get those things growing and your community can only benefit from it. Letting people know the tourism opportunities here, come and camp out here. Uh, come walk or bike some trails here. Come fish here. Come see the, the natural resources we have on Black Creek and Red Creek. Come play a round of golf here. And then that will lead to other things. That will lead to that businessman saying, I visited up there and that was really a neat place. We may want to look at doing something there, relocating there, opening up a new business there. Uh, we spent the day there and saw the murals and we ate at some really neat restaurants and went to some gift shops. I mean, you want to do that to generate some buzz about the community and that was important to do that, to, to get everybody on the same page and move in that direction. About the year 99 or 2000, I'd been on the board for a long time then, probably 10 years, and at that time we were operating on about twenty to $30,000 per year. And that just wasn't enough to do any good at all and we were about to just give up. And I got to read the tax manuals on what other cities and counties do and came up with the 2% sales tax on restaurants and hotels. And then we had some great board members that carried it on through, through Jackson and got the bill passed. I think it's great. I think that's the way to go. Uh, I think we were very fortunate to get it through the legislature at that time. And we had a very favorable board of supervisors that helped us get it through and everything just fell into place. I think it's an ideal way to do it. We're all in this together. Let's pull up our pants legs and, and get out there and work. And that's kind of what we've done. And we want to do that by bringing in volunteers uh, at festivals or at uh, other events that we help support. We get them in there and say, this is what we do. And how can you help us? How can we help you? And it becomes a thing of cooperation and communication and us all being in it together. When Katrina happened, to Stone County as well as Louisiana and Mississippi and Alabama. We jumped in with both feet and decided that we needed to tell not only our story so that the people here could refocus, but the transition of, of people coming in and out of our county, both workers and children from um, displaced schools and displaced families. So we, we started gathering the stories, telling the stories, and we created the murals. And it began with six mosaic tile murals, which are in Blaylock Park in the center of, of downtown Wiggins, um, created by a mural artist from Bay St. Louis, Elizabeth Veglia, who was having her own challenges after Katrina. Um, each one of those murals takes about two and a half months to construct with the students at Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College and the art department. The first mural was all hand cut tile. And Everybody in the community was invited to come by and actually cut a piece and create their own part of that puzzle, that place, to feel that sense of importance. And it's dedicated to the longleaf pine, which is sort of the symbol that we chose. Uh, we have a beautiful stand of longleaf pine at Flint Creek, and longleafs are unlike any other pine. They're, they're tall and stately and strong, and that's what we thought about the people who had just gone through a tremendous um, disaster. We have 31 murals. They're all over the county. They're in every single school, in both of our libraries, in McHenry and in Wiggins, as well as our Welcome Center, our post office. They're scattered all over the county. And in 2012, we were officially named by the state legislature the uh, Mural County of Mississippi. You know, the arts celebrate who we are, but they celebrate our culture and they celebrate our heritage. And it's a way for us to tell our story um, that is unlike any other way that I can think of. I mean, the arts are inherent. We want our children to grow up in a community that tells its story, that celebrates its story. We want people to know who we are. Uh, your people flying down the highway 49 at 65 miles an hour want to just see what's on the highway and, and move on. But, and that's important for those businesses there and support those businesses, but we also have to do something to maybe slow some of them down and say, hey, take a left turn here. and come on down to the historic downtown area and see what we have along the railroad tracks or down Pine Hill, some of the quaint shops or some of the neat restaurants. And so it's important balance. And, and we have 
a variety of businesses on, in both areas. Uh, we just have to be sure we're really promoting the ones that are off the beaten path and steer people, hey, stop in here and see what we have. Uh, and, that's, and that will help those small businesses, help the area, and hopefully allow other small businesses to open and truly revitalize and, and restore uh, the hustle and bustle that once was in that historic area. Stone County, location-wise, I think is tremendous. We have a tremendous amount of wood-related industries in the county and a lot of chances to expand in that, too. I think the uh, industries like, like this industry and related industries has a definite uh, uh, opportunity to help young folks get involved and do better and, and therefore improve the county. In coming years, I think you're going to see Stone County blossom into a, an amazing uh, community. I think you're going to see the growth from Hattiesburg and the, the Pine Belt area and the growth from the coast. They're going to meet here in Stone County and you're going to see a thriving community, a more thriving community um, that's really built on um, the foundation of great recreation, uh, great family atmosphere and feeling, um, a great business atmosphere with some opportunities in, in industrial parks to bring in some larger businesses that will then bring in more families and, and see it as a destination place for people within a certain mile radius say let's go spend the day there spend the weekend and even let's relocate there we can get to Hattiesburg to work or to the coast and let's relocate there because of the, the, the atmosphere that's there and opportunities that are there for us and for a family so I think the future is bright and some good things uh, will continue to come to Stone County.